So we have a question that says, at room temperature, which is 27 degrees Celsius, the volume of air trapped in a balloon is 900 centimeters cubed. What would the volume of air be if the, vol if the balloon was cooled to minus 10 degrees in a freezer? So let's try to get um, a visual representation of what this is. So let's say we have a balloon. So this is our balloon, right? I'm um, being exposed to room temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. And obviously inside the balloon we have uh, air inside the balloon, air trapped inside. So this is representing our air molecules. And the question then says that this balloon is placed in a freezer and cooled to minus 10 degrees so let's get a, a representation of a freezer here so let's say this is our freezer All right so this is our freezer and the balloon is placed inside the freezer and again we, we still have air molecules inside inside the freezer here so what happened to the balloon while it was placed in here so the question says that the temperature here is 27 degrees celsius so let me just write that in 27 degrees celsius and inside the uh, freezer here the temperature is minus 10 degrees celsius and the volume the volume of the gas change from 900 centimeters cubed to some volume we need to find this uh, new volume so first of all since the pressure exerted on the balloon here is the same pressure being exerted while it is in the freezer we can say then that the pressure is kept constant and since the pressure is kept constant we can use Charles law which says that the volume so Charles law says that the volume of a fixed of gas is directly proportional to the temperature and this temperature is the absolute temperature provided the pressure is kept constant. So Charles Law says that the volume of the fixed mass of gas is directly proportional to the temperature provided that the pressure right, is kept constant. And in this case, we have um, the pressure uh, being kept constant. So we can use Charles Law. And the formula for Charles Law says that, let me get a color here. So the formula for Charles Law says that so the formula for Charles law says that v1 over t1 is equal to v2 over t2 v1 over t1 equals v2 over t2 where v1 and t1 are the initial volume and initial temperature and v2 and t2 are the in are the final volume and the final temperature so let's get some variables from the question so the temperature initial temperature was 27 degrees and the final temperature is minus 10 degrees and the initial volume is 900 centimeters cubed but first of all let us convert uh, let's write what these variables are so v1 we said v1 is equal to 900 centimeters cubed t1 
one is equal to 27 degrees and 30 degrees and T2 is equal to minus 10 degrees Celsius. But first of all, if you realize, these values are not in the SI units, which they should be in. So we're going to convert the volume into meters cube and the temperature into degrees Kelvin. So to convert from 900 centimeters cube to meters cube, we simply divide this value here by 1,000 cubed. So therefore, we have... 900 centimeters cubed divided by 1000 cubed and that works out to be 9 times 10 to the minus 7 meters cubed and simply to convert from degrees Celsius to degrees Kelvin we simply add 273 to this value here so we have 27 degrees C plus 273 and that works out to be 320 degrees Kelvin and the similar year so we have minus 10 degrees C plus 273 which works out to be 263 degrees K so it therefore means then that these are the values which we'll be using in our expression All right, so these three variable values will be used in our expression. So use our formula. We have uh, V1, which is 9 times 10 to the minus 7. 9 times 10 to the minus 7 meters cubed divided by T1, which is 320 degrees K, equaling v2 which is the unknown over t2 which is 273k 263k i mean degrees k so we can simply do a cross multiplication right so we multiply this by this and we multiply this by this so in doing so what we end up with when we do our cross multiplication we have 9 times 10 to the minus 7 meters cubed multiplied by 263 degrees K and that is equal to uh, V2 multiplied by 320 degrees K so it simply means then that to find V2 what we need to do is just simply divide both sides by 320k. So divide both sides, 320 degrees k, and divide this side by 320 degrees Kelvin to find V2. So plug this in our calculator, we get a value that V2 is equal to 7 point. 7.39 times 10 to the minus 7 meters cubed. So let me rewrite that. 7.39 times 10 to the minus 7 meters cubed is equal to V2. You can find more great physics tutorials like these over on my website at realgenerobert's dot com